Hi, this is Beacon Journal Browns beat writer Nate Ulrich here in Berea after Browns practice. I'm going to give you a couple of the quick highlights from today in terms of uh, newsworthy notes. Johnny Manziel did not practice again today. And Mike Pettin said he's definitely not going to play Saturday night in the third preseason game at Tampa Bay, and he'll likely be out in the preseason finale next week at Chicago as well. So Manziel more than likely, almost certainly, is done for the preseason. The Browns signed quarterback Pat Devlin this morning to give them another arm with Johnny resting that sore right elbow that's been bothering him lately. Uh, Terrell Pryor is going to try to play uh, Saturday at, at Tampa Bay. It remains to be seen whether he'll be able to go. He practiced today. He practiced yesterday. He said he's feeling better, but his uh, rep count was increased today, and the training staff and the coaching staff is going to get together, figure out how he responds to the increased workload tomorrow. And if the results are positive, then he's going to make not only his debut with the Browns Saturday against the Bucks, but his debut as an NFL wide receiver, obviously converting from quarterback. Um, he talked today. Uh, he sounded pretty down. The injuries gotten him down, disappointed because he's not out there with his teammates on the field, showing that he can make this change to receiver, and because he's not able to see his son at night because he's in the facility receiving extra treatment. So, you know, it's affecting him on the field, off the field. I said, are, you know, I, I said something to him about, are you discouraged? And he said he's not discouraged because he does have that fire in him. The fire is lit to get back on the field. He said his competitive spirit is at an all-time high, and that he's fully dedicated to coming back from this injury. Uh, so although he sounded down, he's also wanted to make it clear that he has the mental makeup and the mindset right now to overcome this hamstring injury that's been bothering him for a long time, and that he aggravated again in that joint practice against the Buffalo Bills. As far as Johnny Manziel's situation, one more note. I think it's pretty obvious that projected starting quarterback Josh McCown is going to start week one against the New York Jets, but Mike Pettin all along has said he's not going to guarantee McCown will start week one against the Jets and that McCown is just firmly the number one on the death chart. Well, today asked Mike Pettin, with Johnny Manziel's situation, can you now name Josh McCown the starter formally? And he said, I think I've said he's a starter without saying it. So... That should tell you all you need to know. Barring injury, it will be Josh McCown. Number 13 will be the 23rd starting quarterback for the Browns since 1999 in week one at the New York Jets. Thanks for watching. Keep checking Ohio.com for updates.